willing to jump the gun here because under normal circumstances God would be moving the council door would be allowed to attend the meeting on our behalf. But I'd have to do time travel because it was this afternoon. Joe, would it be in order to give a brief report on that? Yes, indeed. Right. There was the meeting of planning and regulatory committee in North Somerset today. None other than any planning experience. But the last item on the agenda was our report for governance governance review, the committee were given two options. Option A, the Portishead Town Council would need to seek a petition of electors to bring forward a governance review, and that would require over, nine, over 1,991 electors, namely 10%, to call, bring about any change, and that wouldn't, for interest, that wouldn't bring about a formal change that would start the process of the change and it wouldn't be a straight 12 or 18, it could be anything. And the second option was that the electoral registration officer be authorised to undertake a community governance review of electoral arrangements for the parish. The former was carried by the council. So, <laughs> this council would have to obtain a petition if we wish to go forward. So can I suggest that this matter goes on a future agenda? I thank Councillor Lord for her valiant address to the meeting and stop defence against Councillor Bryant afterwards, for I believe she was mistaken for another member of the public. But can we ask Councillor Lord if she's got any questions? Well, uh, Try yes, thank you. Um, I spoke in public participation, but that was getting on for two hours before the debate. Um, but the debate was started by Councillor Burton, and as we covered very much the same ground, then councillors were reminded of the issues. Um, the debate was very good. I have to say, the voting at the end was quite chaotic. Um, and there were some councillors who appeared to be asking, well, which is option A and which is option B? Which quite concerned me, to the extent that I asked the clerk and the um, chairman of the particular meeting what votes were cast for each of the options, and I could not get a complete, complete list. So I, I accept the decision, but it was not a good example of clarity of voting. And I think perhaps Councillor Burden would agree on that one. Um, what we did discover, um, Mr. Mike Jones, who is the electoral officer, did give a very explanation, good explanation of what the legislation was. And apparently there are no guidelines in legislation for equality of votes at parish level. There are at district, unitary, county council and national, but not at parish level. Doesn't mean to say he wouldn't work towards it. It's given as a good example, but they are not the strict guidelines in legislation. If a review does take place, if there is a successful petition, and the round 2,000 signatures are found, then a review, a governance review is triggered immediately. And when that takes place, it is the council's petition which is discussed as part of that governance review. But it is left to the people carrying the review if they feel that there is support for 12 rather than 18 members, it could be brought in at that stage. But initially, the governance review will be on the council's decision as it was made in December. I hope that makes that a little bit clear because it, it was made clear, it was an issue in, in the debate uh, with fair enough questions and views expressed um, by non Portishead people. Um, but it's something that you should be aware of if we wish to go forward to the um, sorry, 
to the petition, um, there is some time pressure on this because it is essential that any government's review takes place and is completed in good time before the next local elections.